there everybody, my name is Curtis Chad Longs, the board book built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is on Alton Towers uh, and basically this is going to be all about this brand new event they've released um, called Alton Towers Oktoberfest. We're going to be talking about all the other events that they've announced uh, for the 40th anniversary season in 2020. Obviously we know that the Saturday 21st of March will be the opening day of Gangster Granny the Ride. Uh, and we've got some other stuff planned for that as well, so stay tuned for more news on that. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. Shout out goes to Thorax Changeling. Get your shout outs and your questions using the hashtag question before or after your question, both in the comment section down below. Let's get into this video then. So it's going to be mainly about Oktoberfest, and then we're going to be doing a quick rundown of all the things you can do uh, with the 40th anniversary season. So, let's start off with the main reason we're doing this video, and that is Alton Towers Oktoberfest. So, Alton Towers Oktoberfest, if you didn't know what Oktoberfest was, it's a German uh, based, um, well, well, it was originally in Bavaria, Germany, uh, but it sort of stretched out across the world, and now Oktoberfest is coming to Alton Towers uh, between the 18th to 20th of September. Uh, the 25th to the 27th of September and 2nd to 4th of October so three weekends two in September one in October and the one in October is just before Scarefest starts so the website states aimed at families and thrill seekers alike Alton Towers Oktoberfest will provide guests with delightful themed entertainment for all ages and a delicious food all wrapped up in a cheerful and ideal for family atmosphere with a German twist so that is what's stated on the website now we don't know much more than that, other than we can only guess where this is going to be. Now, I've seen other videos on this, uh, there's potential, it could be down at um, the bottom of the lawn maybe on Tower Street, maybe they're going to use the corporate hospitality tent uh, that's next to Spinball Wizard. Uh, there's a couple of locations they could use, they could use the courtyard in Mutiny Bay if they wanted to and do like a German twist on Mutiny Bay. Maybe if they do put it in the uh, the courtyard, of course, we, many diehard Alton Towers fans knew uh, there were going to be plans for like a smokehouse restaurant in there. Those plans have now been shelved, uh, but now the courtyard has been used for Darkest Depths recently for Alton Towers Scarefest that debuted uh, last season. Uh, but there's real potential here if they use the courtyard. Maybe this could be the start of a whole re-theme uh, of Mutiny Bay, not including Wickerman. Wickerman has its own sort of plaza, uh, but the whole Mutiny Base section gets rethemed into an Oktoberfest section. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it would be nice. Um, now, of course, for those of you who need a recap on the other events going in Alton Towers, 14th to the 23rd of February is February half term, so you've only got a couple more days to experience this event. Uh, it's for hotel guests only. Uh, pirate and Princess Takeover with tons of Pirate and Princess themed activities for all the family, exclusively available to short break guests. It's the ultimate escape for February off term for young pirates and princesses. So, your swashbuckling package includes, alongside a ray of pirate and princess fun, you'll also enjoy an overnight stay at the Alton Towers Resort. Budding buccaneers can visit Sharp Bay Reef, fabulous evening entertainment, delicious breakfast, the thrills and spills of the water park, and a nine hole round of extraordinary golf. Swashbuckling Entertainment, High Sea and High Jinx, A Pirate Adventure, Pirates vs Princesses and of course the Pirate and Princess Takeover. So that's all going down uh, in the accommodation. Now another big thing is of course Gangster Granny the Ride. Uh, now we know that's going down, we know that's now going to open on the 21st of March. Uh, and we know that they are planning to do some more Gangster Granny fun uh, uh, you know, along with the opening, so they're planning to do some more throughout the year, hopefully. So, uh, hopefully that all goes down very, very well. As well as all of that, you've got the Maybank holiday, uh, where you can join your favourite CBB's characters in a special birthday party. Uh, May half term, uh, where you can join Ben and Granny for a half term heist, with a week of activities, challenges and competition for all the family. Theme to Gangster Granny to celebrate the new ride. That you got the summer, so you get to keep your eyes peeled for more jaw-dropping news. So I hope they sort of bring all the, the events back for that, like the big coaster challenge, like the big five, big six challenge. Uh, maybe meme your scream. I know that was kind of a success uh, last time when they used that. Obviously, Scarefest is going down. 
Uh, we don't have official maze news from that as of yet, uh, but hopefully uh, we can um, get some of that throughout the season. Obviously that's going to be taking place from the 9th to the 11th of October, the 16th to the 18th of October, and then the 22nd of October up until the 1st of November. So two weekends in October, and then it'll run from the 22nd of October to the 1st of November. Uh, so, uh, and to be fair, I did look on the Alton Towers website, uh, and there is no maze news on Spanting and Terror or the family stuff. So, uh, th that's how you know that we still haven't got maze news yet. Fireworks, 6th, 7th, and 8th of November 2020. That's your firework dates. Mark those dates in your diary. 6th, 7th, and 8th of November. Every year we welcome families and thrill seekers of all ages to our spectacular fireworks. This is from the website again. Our firework event has always been popular with the locals from Stoke-on-Trent and Staffordshire, but we're fast becoming known as one of the best firework displays in the UK. Hosted on the closest, closest, week, closest weekend in November, our bonfire night fireworks event spanned three whole days. Be sure to avoid, uh, be sure to book in advance to avoid missing out. Uh, remember, remember, this sensational event will be your last chance to experience our record-breaking rise of attractions before the 2020 theme park season comes to an end. What's more, as the theme park stays open late, for the fireworks to play, you can even ride in the dark. So, you also have the winter event. Santa's sleepovers, festive breaks, and New Year's Eve all return for winter 2020. So you've got a real host of events here going on by Alton Towers Resort. A real host of events. Now, they did release a video over on their social media accounts uh, to celebrate uh, the whole sort of 40 years uh, of Alton Towers. Uh, now, one ride that isn't on there is Rita, and that's drawn up a lot of interest as to, ooh, you know, is, is Rita on the chopping block? It is a good site for future attractions, and like I said in that video, uh, I did a video months ago, a uh, special shout out goes to um, uh, the two people from uh, Tower Times Forum that sort of first, first thought of the ideas. Uh, I thought I'd give them a shout out. Uh, I can't remember your names, I'm really sorry, on Tower Times Forum, but you know who you are. Massive shout out to you for coming up with these ideas. Uh, and I was just, I was really interested in that and I wanted to sort of share them and I forgot to shout them out. So, sorry for that. Shout out for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is basically all with Rita's rumoured removal f at some point this season. Now with that not being on the teaser, again, this is a teaser video that had Dark Forest opening in 2011, not 2010, with 13. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> things can go wrong, but Rita's not really one of the secret weapons, so that's kind of a reason why it's not on there. But, you know, you can, you can take it as a little bit of speculation, I guess, uh, as to why it might not be on there. I mean, Blade wasn't even on there, and that's rumoured to be coming back now it's back on the app. Um, so, you know, there's, there's, there's definitely other factors here. Uh, so I'm not going to jump to conclusion with Rita as of yet, but we'll just see what happens. You know, maybe, I, I am definitely looking at opening day of the season for Alton Towers. Absolutely looking at opening day of the season. Saturday, March 21st. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, opening day against the Granny the Ride. I'm not sure if they're going to do a preview day beforehand. Um, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to confirm whether I'm on the media list for that or not. I'm not going to confirm it, but I do know uh, the decision that they came up with. They emailed me about it, but I'm not going to say out loud what the decision is because of privacy. But um, whether I am or whether I'm not, I'm really excited, uh, whether it's the preview day, whether it's the opening day, I don't know, but I will try and get out there as best I can, as close to the opening as Gangster Granny as possible. Uh, it's a great looking dark ride, it is confirmed through an ITV report, an insider report, that it is manufactured by Garmin Dell, the Derby based company, with their Motion Master dark ride. Um, you know, it, it, this, is just, this I mean, you guys that saw the report, you guys saw inside the ride, you guys saw what it will look like and the finishing touch they're starting to make on it now. It just looked fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, you can see, you can look online at all those pictures. It's it's good, it's, it looks fantastic, isn't it? It's gonna be their great attempt at a dart ride. So, I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys are really excited for all what's happening over the Alton Tower season, including all these events. My favorite is gonna be Oktoberfest. I'm not gonna lie. I know Scarefest's a big one. That's absolutely a must. Fireworks, that's gonna be a good event. Um, all the stuff over the summer, I'm sure they're going to announce loads of stuff over the summer uh, or stuff to do over the summer holidays. So that's going to be a big one as well. 
Uh, but in terms of new events, I think Oktoberfest is going to be fantastic. You look at the Oktoberfest area at Busch Gardens Williamsburg in Virginia, uh, with the, the whole Verbolton coaster, and you know before that it was Big Bad Wolf. You look at how the whole Oktoberfest area was designed with the Mark Tower and the German Bavaria Village. Um, you look at other parks do Oktoberfest or German themed areas, obviously Europa Park do some nice stuff for Oktoberfest I'm sure. Uh, and Oktoberfest all over the world is celebrated with these massive beer halls, you know. Is the main sort of beer hall going to be inside the, the courtyard tavern? Um, you know, is the, is the whole courtyard going to be transformed to a massive beer hall and then the whole round Mutiny Bay and over the the front lawn of the towers, you know, on, on, on the bottom of Tower Street, you know, is there going to be uh, uh, some, some food stands and things like that. Obviously, you look at past events at Alton Towers, you look what they did with the Chocolate Towers, if you remember that one. I went to that when I was a kid. It was only one time, uh, I can't remember what year it was, but it was definitely when, it was like, I think it was like the last time Chocolate Towers operated. Um, I went to that, um, you know, I saw, I, I, I do remember past Chocolate Towers as well. I do remember seeing like a massive chocolate volcano at the bottom of Tower Street and, oh, it was fantastic. So you look at the level of detail they put into events like Chocolate Towers, the Summer Sizzler. Uh, I know, I remember in the past days, I believe they had like a PlayStation Weekender event where they had like a massive zip wire and they wanted to install a permanent one but those plans got shelved. Uh, so... You know, there's real, real potential for great events here. And I think in terms of a brand new event from scratch, this is going to be great. And the fact they're going to be putting on entertainment for all the family. Obviously, I think the beer hall is going to be an age-rated thing. So I think you are going to have to show you... I think it's going to be a thing where you show your ID to get into the beer hall because that's going to be mainly an alcohol zone. You know, it's going to be uh, a very adult-based zone. But there are going to be loads of things for the kids to do and for the families to do. So I like how they're arranging this event with families and then having the ma and hopefully having a massive beer hall, fingers crossed, in a tent, uh, like they're doing the massive Oktoberfest festivals going on in Germany. So I think there's real potential here for what they could do with this event. But overall, I'm just... Th this is going to be one of the best years in terms of celebrating a birthday for Alton Towers. You know, you, you got to think, 10 years ago, they were celebrating the 30th with uh, the addition of 13 and the Dark Forest to replace Ugland and the iconic Corkscrew roller coaster. And they did loads of things throughout the season as well. What a way to celebrate 30 years. And then before that, in 2000, when they celebrated 20 years of the park, you know, they did X, uh, which is the, the, the dart ride, the Vacoma Madhouse and the Towers. Again, an iconic thing. Uh, so this is going to be an iconic year for Alton Towers to celebrate its anniversary. So hopefully, fingers crossed, try and get down there as close to the opening of Gangster Granny as possible. It'd be lovely to get down there for the Oktoberfest event. That'd be brilliant. I've never done an Oktoberfest before. You know, I might buy a, I might go down to a local shop and buy a lederhosen just to celebrate the occasion. Uh, so uh, if I am going to Alton Towers Oktoberfest, again, can't promise anything, but if I'm going to the Oktoberfest festival, uh, then I'll let you guys know first, obviously. Uh, if I'm going to be going down to the opening day uh, of the season, again, I'll let you guys know in due course. But... This is going to be a really exciting year for the channel. It's going to be really exciting for Alton Towers. So, thank you very much for watching this theme park newsroom update from the Alton Towers Resort. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep it on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.